All right, so we're here today, and today I am very excited to share with you a little bit about one of my favorite WordPress plugins. Um, and this is a pretty widely known program, but it's WordPress SEO, and it does uh, many things for your website, but essentially uh, it makes it so that a, a search engines such as Google, Bing, and the likes are able to find your website and they appear uh, closer, or I'm sorry, uh, higher up on page ranking. So let's go through, and I'm sure most of you have uh, installed a plugin before, but I'll walk you through. So we're at the dashboard now, and we're just gonna go to this plugin, install plugins. Uh, and I already have it installed within my website. You'll see it actually pops up right here. But you would just go to add to, or I'm sorry, add new, WordPress SEO. It's pretty popular. It'll probably be the first one that pops up. Yep. And as you know, when you're looking for a plugin, make sure that the rating is pretty high on it. Uh, and you can see by how many versions this had that uh, it has been through the ringer and people have got all the, uh, the kinks out of it for you already. Um, they have other ones here, but uh, the one I decided to go with is uh, Yoast. So you would just uh, select this guy. It already says installed here, but you would just hit, uh, hit install now, and it would uh, it would uh, come into your installed plugins. And mine is right here. And uh, yours would be uh, yours would have the option to activate it. You would just hit activate. And uh, you would refresh the pray page, and I'm using a MacBook, so it's Command R. Uh, so I would just go ahead and refresh it, and then it will be live. And then you would see that you got a really cool banner right here, uh, and it says SEO, so Search Engine Optimization. And we have this guy working right here. All right, buddy. So what do you offer me? Uh, so it offers a lot of good things. First and foremost, if you're new to this a tad bit and, and you want to learn a little bit more and you're the type that likes to read the manual, then go ahead and uh, start here with Start Tour. And it brings up a lot of cool things to read, a lot of good literature, a great reading material. And actually, I'm not the type that usually dives into the manual too much, but I did for this one. Uh, and the manual is right here. So uh, two fingers, click this, uh, open it up, new tab, uh, close. But I already opened it up for you. So we have it right here. Great material. Even if you want to learn a little bit about SEO um, and what uh, Google, Bing, uh, Yahoo are searching for when they are scouring your website with those little robots, uh, this is a great read for you. But we'll go back here and I'll walk you through a couple things. Uh, and this will kind of uh, this will kind of veer us off into a different track for a little bit. But this is Webmaster Tools. So if you want to be able to link uh, one of your webmaster tools, and, and basically what that does is it gives you some of your site data, and you'll be able to see how you are performing on these different websites, you do that uh, right here. Uh, and mine is already verified through Google Webmaster Tools. So uh, I would uh, just click that, and it's an easy verification process. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can link it to your Google Analytics site, uh, your Google Plus site, and a few other alternatives. But uh, we will veer off for a second just to explore this Google Webmaster, which is an amazing tool, amazing, amazing tool. So this is giving me some of the stats for my website, um, you know, activity level, uh, impressions, clicks. But it really dives down deep and it says, okay, well, you know, what are people searching for? Um, uh, and, and when they searched, uh, what brought them to your site? So these are the words that brought them to my site. Um, uh, no links were from my site to another site, but internal links, uh, these brought people from my site out to something else. So favorite books, I have a couple of Amazon links baked in there. Uh, creative audio, I have it uh, linked to a SoundCloud play page. Uh, Experience versus memory, that is a blog post that I wrote. Um, or I'm sorry, it's, a, it's on a video, uh, a TED Talk video. A very good video indeed. You should check it out. Uh, Jimmy, Fallon, uh, Jimmy Fallon, also a YouTube video. Uh, all great posts. Check them out when you get a chance. Uh, so that's some of the things that you can do. So, you know, index status, you can really think about, okay, how many of your uh, words or searches are being indexed? Uh, content keywords. So which are these words that are uh, significant within your, uh, your web page? Which ones are actually those more potent words? Uh, so April, uh, as you can tell, I mean, it's April. That would probably make sense. But some of these are, are uh, words that are pretty popular. So test, March, uh, love, video, December, things like that uh, usually uh, appear higher up on the search, um, search criteria. Uh, 
So I have not removed any URLs uh, from mine. Uh, so you could say, hey, uh, robots from Google, Bing, I don't want you searching this URL. Maybe it's not uh, up and running yet and you don't want it to get a bad quality score yet. Uh, whatever the case may be, you can put those here. But I don't, I didn't add any. Uh, Go into the crawl reports. And this is really interesting information. So these are all the pages or links within my website that returned the error. So when those robots went through and started crawling around, these are all the things that I know I have to now go clean up. Uh, and these are the crawl stats. So the individual crawl stats appear here and you can see them listed out. So uh, views per day, um, download per day, but this is a very interesting one here. And this is the time that it takes for each of those pages to download which is something that's baked now into the quality score for Google. So if you want uh, a better quality score, you got to address that. And I have a plugin that will do um, you know, some caching work that will improve that quality score uh, by decreasing that, uh, that download time. So keep an eye on all three of these. Uh, and then we're going on to uh, Fetch on Google. So if you want to send those robots out to go index your website and see uh, what kind of quality score you get back or, or the uh, crawl score stats, uh, you'll go ahead and do that here. So hey, go out and look at, take a look, dig around on my website and see what you uh, come up with. I see the things that I need to improve upon and that's listed here. So I successfully sent that out and those things are indexed. Um, here I didn't block any URLs, but the site map is interesting. It's just like a hierarchical structure of your website and that's really what they dig around in. XML is what websites see and the HTML is what you can actually visually see. So webmaster tool here. And we'll get back into your WordPress site. Uh, so you can use any of these, and, and Google has the same um, capability as this being in, in, in these other sites, but I just choose to use Google. Um, it's what I'm comfortable with, but uh, I'm sure the other ones would have similar capabilities. So you go into titles uh, and, and metas. So this is really how you're going in and you're naming your different, uh, your different web pages, uh, categories, and, and things of that nature. So you want to go through and make sure that everything is named correctly and in a succinct manner. Uh, so general, uh, you can read underneath here the description for each of these different things if you want to click them or not. The default settings uh, put you into a very good place. So most of the time you won't have to go through and change it uh, unless you are doing a little bit deeper uh, into the SEO. Okay, permalinks, a textbook definition, a URL that points to a specific blog or forum, entry after it has passed from the front page to the archives. Essentially this is giving you a link to a page that's not easily discoverable and you increase the quality score of that landing page when you do link to that from your website. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of permalinks. Uh, internal links, so this is linking within your website. And breadcrumbs, uh, I'm not entirely sure, this is uh, not a widely known uh, term, but breadcrumbs is essentially uh, not, so you know how to get back a home, just like uh, Hansel and Gretel. So if you think about it, you know, you'll go to some websites and it'll say home, and then it'll say blog, and then it'll say uh, vacation blog, and then it'll say something like Aruba. And then it'll have all those things listed at the top. So you say home, uh, you know, archives for, you search for. So this is how the breadcrumb will be set up. And if you want that last uh, page to be bolded in the breadcrumbs, you can click there. Different options throughout this page as well. Um, I, really do, I really haven't had to uh, fiddle with any of these much. Uh, I went through and I changed a couple of the settings, but I'm not importing any data or exporting any data. Uh, I guess I might, uh, depending on, you know, if, if I need it in the future. Bulk title editor. Uh, I usually, uh, well, I never use this, but if I wanted to change the titles to make them more friendly, SEO friendly, then I can do so over toward the, towards the right. But I'll tell you where the true magic of this happens, and we'll go through, let's go to my projects page. So the cool thing is, it now has this guy built in right here. So this is green. Uh, I haven't started on this one. This was uh, orange. This is green. So let's go ahead and click this and see why it's green. So SEO check. So it checks every uh, every page, um, whether it's a uh, within your portfolio, uh, anything that's linked to a page, it checks it for you. And it's this guy right here. So he's, he's right there ready for you, underneath here. You'll click in here. What are your focus keywords? So just like a Google search, it'll have uh, options as you start typing. So Barcelona travel. And 
the capital doesn't really matter. Well, it actually doesn't matter at all. So these are the focus keywords. So I want to make sure that everywhere there's a search in, those focus keywords are there. Barcelona travel, SEO title, check. Barcelona travel in a meta description, check. Barcelona travel in a title, check. And the permalink, check. Uh, and maybe somewhere in the content page as well. Okay, here we are. Barcelona travel there and Barcelona travel there. Um, hence, it shows up twice in the content page. Everything is green here. That means you're good to go. And this guy is green as well. So I just update that. Now, we can go to some of these posts because I have been uh, I have neglected to go through uh, many of them uh, yet to, to make sure so you can think hey right here all these need to be scrubbed and you will scrub them the same exact way so we just go in here go to edit but those will actually help with some of the crawl areas that we saw before uh, so everything is pretty much interconnected as you can see but right now we're really trying to select what keyword we want to use for the title so it's the same tool that you would use for say a keyword planner in AdWords and these are actually giving you suggestions um, so maybe you want to change your title so that it um, so that it actually searches better that's you know so that's one option you can do or you can you can keep it together um, so I'm going to Continue to chug away at these. Now, look at this special character that I put in here. I really wanted it to be done as greater than perfection, but search engines don't like that. Let's let's try this. Done is better. Damn perfect. Perfect. Pretty widely known quote. Oh, look at that. They have it there. So, what is this going to be? And it keeps reminding me that, hey, we don't care about capital letters. Okay, fine. I'm just doing it out of habit. Uh, and then let's go ahead and edit this guy right here. Done. It is better. Alright. Sometimes that one takes a little bit longer to go. Um, Uh, so that takes a little bit longer. So what we do is we update it. Yeah, let's see if we can get you to change colors just a tad bit. Oh, look at that. You're green. There we go. Good old green. So, uh, yeah, so <laughs> essentially I'll go through and do that for all of these, uh, all these pages, uh, posts, everything that I have going on here. So let's make sure all these turn green and uh, matching that with the webmaster tool and give you some of the search queries. Remember thinking about the things that are not going good with your site. This will really help you. So uh, these will be at the end of any post. Also, feel free to visit their website. They'll give you great information. Uh, and thank you. One of my favorite plugins.